rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And I've been listening to, I was going to say I've listened to Big Finish, but it's not Big Finish. It's BBC Audio, BBC Studios, BBC, I don't know. This this company keeps going uh, going bankrupt. And they keep renaming it basically the same thing. It's the BBC uh, uh, Audio Company. Uh, they, yeah, they they were no much more for making uh, books on tape. They they took the old TARDIS, uh, I don't know what they still do. They take the TARDIS novelizations, they have somebody read it, and they put special effects on it. That's what they're sort of known for. But they've developed more things over, over the years. Uh, and now they're doing original drama, uh, somewhat taking a page from uh, Big Finish's book from the uh, uh, Companion Chronicles. Single disc, single reader. Uh, uh, which I just found so enjoy, <laughs> so enjoyable, right? It was really, really relaxing. Like the simplicity of it, uh, uh, I've just found charming. That's not to say the uh, the performance or the story was simplistic. It's just the format was simplistic, and it seems to be a format that Big Finish have uh, uh, to some extent mo uh, moved away from. Right? They they seem to be much more interested in doing uh, things with larger scope, larger cast, and, and that's why I kind of like this. It was. Uh, again, single disc, single reader, uh, nice, nice, uh, 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 nice chewy story to to get get your teeth into. But yeah, and as it is somewhat simpler, this will be a quicker review, I think. Uh, uh, look, the quick reviews, I liked it, right? I liked it. Uh, 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 I'm reviewing the uh, Doctor Who: The Resurrection Plant, the second Doctor uh, original. Uh, audio written by Will Hardcraft, uh, performed by by Fraser Hines. Now, I'll be uh, 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 I'll put my hands up. I want to be as open and honest as possible. Will Will Hardcraft sent me a copy of this to uh, uh, to review. I'm very glad that he did. I doubt I would have picked it up otherwise. I think the way to get this is uh, having an Audible subscription or, or you know uh, 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 get a trunk subscription and you get get a month for free and you get like three or four. Uh, credits to to uh, to buy these things. I feel guilty doing that. So when I do that, I normally keep the subscription for like two or three months, and I get a bunch of stuff that I want to do. So that would be the way. If you're going to do that, that would be a recommend. Buying it on its own is fifteen pounds. I think that's a bit pricey, frankly. Although I think Big Finish is a bit pricey. I think everything's a bit pricey. Inflation, baby, inflation. Uh, uh, but the CD is more exp is cheaper, right? <laughs> Which I find really weird. The CD is ten pounds. Uh, new, or you can buy a, a get a used one for for eight pounds. Uh, at least that's what it's saying on Amazon right now. Fine. Before we get the review, like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, uh, all those things are fantastic. Thank you very much. And if you can especially subscribe, that really genuinely, genuinely helps me and makes me feel good, right? It makes you know, that's always nice to make me feel good. Uh, uh, so like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. In the video notes, there's a link to something called Substack, which is my uh, email newsletter. It goes there every day. It lets you know what content I'm putting out. And boy, do I put out a lot of content. Again, as I said, every day. Never mind the quality. Fill the width, baby. Uh, uh, <laughs> So uh, 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 sign up for that. I also got a bunch of extras in it, all like old uh, Doctor Who magazine articles, a lot of Big Finish stuff, like especially early Big Finish reviews. Do you remember those old comic strips they used to put out to pro uh, promote the uh, the main range? Those things as well. So that that's in the the uh, the paid uh, the, that's in Substack. I also have a paid one. It's five bucks a month. I guess you get short stories, artwork, all kinds of that. It's basically it's a way just to send me some digital coppers, which uh, 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 you know I will not dissuade you from doing. Fine, like, share, subscribe, comment, sub. Set, covered everything. Let's have a look at this release, right? Let me just open this up. Uh, doink. There you go. Doctor Who, The Resurrection Plant, second Doctor Audio. Uh, uh, Will Hagra, uh, author Will, uh, Will Hagraf, narrator Fraser Hines. Now, Fraser Hines, it's a delight, right? We haven't heard Fraser do a second Doctor for a while. They seem to have move, uh, moved over to. Is it Michael Troughton doing it? Who's great, right? I really liked his interpretation of Doctor. I'm enjoying the Beyond the War Games thing. But this is this was a great little uh, uh, asset they had. Look, I think the, the truth is, you, you you can't just produce unlimited amount of content, right? So I think I think they just don't have uh, have room or space to do do these type of releases anymore. Which I'm which is why I'm glad the uh, uh, BBC have, have picked up the uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for the baton. But yeah, no, his second Doctor is sublime. Uh, uh, it, it, no, his reading, his uh, narration is, is, is generally uh, uh, very good. Now, something interesting about this story, which I couldn't shake out the back of my head, was it was originally uh, written for uh, the Seventh Doctor uh, New, New Adventures range, which is a very different era from the Second Doctor, uh, Jamie and Zoe. So it's somewhat interesting that 
it really, I, I was a big reader of the New Avengers, but it fits into all those tropes. It has like Gallifrey and history in it. It has the Gestalt entities in it. Uh, so th that was all stuff that you saw all the time in, in, uh, in the New Avengers. But changing the TARDIS crew were for the second Doctor, Jamie and Zoe, completely works, right? It completely, completely works. I think that, that that's a, uh, a testament to the strength of the, strength of the Doctor Who-iness of the story, that you can interchange the Doctors and it still feels like an organic Doctor Who story, uh, uh, I think is a, uh, uh, a strong recommend, right? Like a strong uh, approbation. So Fraser Hines reads this brand new story featuring second Doctor Jamie and Zoe. The TARDIS, uh, TARDIS brings its occupants to uh, Calico 3, an Earth-like planetoid, where industrial foundries are worked alongside sophisticated technology. So the vibe I got was it was a primitive planet that uh, uh, some more sophisticated people sh showed up to and they industrialized it. Uh, uh, and uh, cut it, it, I was going to say like a uh, press gang them into service, but they all seem pretty happy, uh, you know, happy in, uh, in service, working in all these uh, factories and foundries. The doctor is staggered to learn about the resurrection plant where uh which rebirths anybody mortally wounded in the line of work right so uh there's very little health and safety and people are always being killed right always being killed and they're reborn in this uh, re uh resurrection plant but they're re reborn slightly differently sometimes they come out uh their genders change sometimes their eye colors change but basically the same same thing it, it all reminds me of not the not the virgin new adventures but the sequel uh, uh series to that the eighth doctor adventures you had the faction paradox as an ongoing uh uh ongoing bad guy what well, i think it was the eighth doctor one and they had the thing where they would uh in a colony they would remember people they had they had this biomass and 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 then somebody would put this headset on and they would glean their memories of the person and from the from those memories that person was recreated but they're always like from the per, from from the memories of the people uh surrounded them so they weren't exactly 100 percent right so it feels very similar to that as well again it was it was that era uh while uh, while jamie's put to work in the foundry yeah look when, when they show up uh, and people realize they're not part of the uh you know the calico three society they are not warmly welcomed right uh jamie is a press gang to work in the foundry zoe and the doctor investigate the plant but when the machine goes terribly wrong they must work with the locals to combat a a horrifying monster and again it's a very virgin new adventures monster it's a gestalt entity that you uh again, well written right Gen genuinely well, well written that is both horrific and uh something that you care about at the same time right you 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 understand the point of view of the monster which which i which i liked a lot uh the doctor uncovers a shameful streak uh, secret uh for him at least that hits close to home yeah look there's a bit of a spoiler warning there there uh, we we do have the second doctor brush up against uh against uh gallifrey and Time Lords, uh, which is interesting because you know they they want to he he wants to not be found by the Time Lords, so that that that's a uh, 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 an interesting plot point. I don't really want to spoil it any more than that because it's really worth a listen. It's a, again very very pleasant listen. It really was very pleasant listen. My only real criticism is the absolutely awful cover. I mean, like I, nothing says I do not care about my product than the cover that they use. Uh, 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 yeah, like uh, just a little bit more time, money, and thoughts spent on the cover. I think you will, and and maybe designing a look for the, this range would would re really help because that 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 thing that would put uh, would put me off, right? The uh, um, just the cover just looks like really like ooh, uh, uh, no, I'm not really did that. The same, but that was something that literally would make me not not want to buy it so uh, uh other than that other than that bbc books uh, uh bbc audio books whatever you call it, uh uh good job good job i like this one a lot uh and i would say employer will is it will will will, yeah, will handcraft to do more for you because he seems to know it seems to see, seem like he knows what he's doing my name is Sila Beckett, the rabbi from another planet please like share and subscribe and ring that little bell ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop Yeah!